Hello everyone, and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today, we're going to be looking at adding in our pistol animations for um, for us to get going with the weapon system. I know everyone's been waiting for this for a long time, so I do apologize. Uh, also, it's been a long time since I did an episode because I've been incredibly busy, so I do apologize about that. But I'm going to aim to ramp up these videos now and get a bunch more out. Um... I've already imported some animations from Mixamo for our pistol. I've got the pistol walk, the pistol run, and the pistol idle to get set up today. Now, one thing I have done is I've moved the camera up. I've, I basically gave this a go and tried to get it working uh, before we got into here. That's why I've got a pistol in my hand there. Let's just set that back to, uh, to blank because I know it works now. So get rid of that. And um, we're going to basically set up uh, our animation so let's go into our blueprints and we're going to create a new one-dimensional blend space i know these things are in legacy so they'll be gone soon but i can't help but use them they're my favorite things they're so helpful i don't know why they're getting rid of them to be honest but we'll call this one pistol uh we'll call this sorry we'll keep the convention test subject michael uh pistol walk blend space right and um very simple setup with this because we've done so much already it should all just slot in and work out of the box near enough we're going to set our name to speed and we're going to set our maximum to 600 and um we're going to add in our lovely animations very simple stuff nothing too complicated i hope you're all keeping along idle goes to zero walk goes to uh 300 and the run goes to oh if i can get it on the board goes to 600 boom and if we move it along you should see him start to walk and start to run easy peasy close that down because we don't need it anymore we're going to open up our animation blueprint and we're going to go straight to the locomotion now this can always be a bit fiddly to make it look pretty and get it looking nice but um for now we're only going to do the walk so it doesn't really matter too much uh we're going to pull off from this and we're going to create a new state and we're going to call this pistol walk and we're gonna oh connect this up down here as well now we're gonna do this slightly differently than we normally do with like boolean checks like the prone and the, cr uh, the and the crouching and stuff we're gonna do this slightly differently for weapon walking um because we're gonna make this all very fluid it's gonna look very nice now most tutorials they do lots of boolean checks and you end up with like 900 boolean checks on your third person character it's not ideal it's not efficient uh, way of doing it so what we're going to do is we're going to have a weapon type and this type is actually going to be our item enum that we made easy peasy and what we're going to do is we're going to get a weapon type and we're going to uh, check if it's equal to pistol boom easy peasy clicking that and we should be able to now move into our pistol animation if we go back to our locomotion and we click on this we're going to just basically do the same check, but we're going to check to see if it's not equal to pistol. Because if it's not equal to pistol, we can then transfer back into our normal walking. And to finish that little bit up, we just need to add in that new blend space to here, like so. And we just need to add that speed back into there. And we go back to our event graph, compile everything, obviously, to make sure you don't lose anything. From our third person character, pull off, and we're going to get our equip item. So that we know what's in our hand. And we're going to break that, boom, like so. And we're going to then set this weapon type up here. And then we're just going to plug that item enum into there. Very, very easy peasy stuff. Um... Once that's done, that should now update to tell us we've got a pistol in our hand or we've got a assault rifle in our hand or we've got not any of that in our hands, basically. Um, cool. If we go to our third-person character, we I have already set up a pistol here. Uh, it's a flare gun, but it will switch into that black pistol you saw before. It's because I don't have a static mesh of the other pistol. I need to sort that out. That takes two seconds, though, luckily. Um... If I go into my items and I go down to do, 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 do here, you'll see the setup. It's literally just a flare gun, pistol. Uh, we get one. We can only hold one in a stack. It, obviously, that's the static mesh there. And in the weapons info, I've given it 20 damage. Uh, made it the current uh, ammo size is 12 and the weapon clip size is also 12. And that's our pistol. Job done. Easy peasy. 
So, the next thing was, it, it, now I will explain this. I have already done this where I tested it, but obviously the pistol in the hand and the camera did need tweaking. I had to rotate the pistol to fit the hand correctly. Hopefully now that I've done that, it should do the same for the shotgun and the rifle. We'll have to test that when we come to it. And uh, worst case scenario is we'll have to find a new solution. But it works for now. Uh, so if we press play, let's just make sure this is working as expected. Uh, I did click play, didn't I? Did I? No, I didn't, obviously not. Right, okay, let's go down. So now at the minute we can punch, 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 punch. That's all fine. And then if we pick this gun up, and we equip it there we go now when i was doing my test i did explain that this works fine um fine enough for for now i hate the left hand floating like that it annoys the hell out of me so i will try and find a solution to that but for now it will have to work until I get uh, either a better animation or I just fix that left arm. Now, I could do it with montages. Uh, I don't know if I want to do it that way because otherwise I'd have to break a lot of stuff to, to get it working. But for now, it works fine and we'll cope with it. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, next episode we'll get ourselves um, um, some shooting and reloading and stuff going so but this is how it looks at the minute tweak it as you feel to make it look better if you want to um but um yeah for now it works it's fine um i don't like the reticle too much uh, if i'm honest because i don't know it just doesn't line up correctly because look if i look up now and i keep looking up the animation is like <laughs> it's not going to be shooting that reticle i don't think so um we're going to have to do something with that as well, I'm sure. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll work it out, I'm sure. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Hopefully this is helping you the next step to getting your guns going. Uh, next episode, we're going to do shooting. Um, we're going to do shooting, we're going to do reloading, and we're going to sort the crouching and the prone out. So that's like four episodes there. We're then going to do the same for rifles, and luckily shotguns will be very similar to rifles. The only difference with shotgun is we'll have one extra episode to sort the shooting and the reloading out for it, because that's different. Everything else will be the same. So that's kind of my next 10 episodes planned out, is just now focusing on fleshing out the weapons. Um, and then we'll finish off doing like melee. I might not do the sniper rifle, to be honest, because that is a lot more work. But let me know in the comments if you want me to try and do a sniper rifle. It's not the easiest thing to, to kind of get done, but I will... Give it a go if you guys want me to and, and get it working in game for you. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. You can always change your mind, and it really does help me out. And uh, also leave a little like. The more likes I get, the more people see these tutorials, and hopefully I, I'm helping you guys um, to at least learn um, a little bit more that you that you didn't know before and, and help you to get a better grasp on all this stuff. Um, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Much love. Take care. Bye.